Hello world. One of the most popular videos on my channel is this how to make your own digital assistant like Alexa or Siri with Python. Uh, you can check out that video by clicking here. Um, but unfortunately, many of my subscribers, they try to copy the code, copy and paste the code directly from my GitHub, which you can find me at BJONE6. And they go here and they go straight to the main, download it and try to install it. And so, uh, you know, I don't recommend you do that. If you watch a YouTube channel like mine or a tutorial video or even just copy and pasting it, um, you're just not going to learn it that much. Um, but there, um, unfortunately, people get a lot of um, errors trying to just copy and paste it. And the majority of them are due to Pi Audio. Um, and even if you do uh, install Pi Audio correctly, sometimes it gets stuck on the listening text in the console. So this video, we're going to troubleshoot some of the most common problems that I've seen. So the first one is um, in my requirements, you'll see that it has Pi Audio and I've replaced this so people don't copy and paste it with what's called a wheel, a Windows file. Um, but if they just try to pip install Pi Audio, they're going to get an error. And the most common error they get is this error, Microsoft Visual C++ 14 or whatever version is required. So um, if you try to just pip install Pi Audio directly from the interpreter. So let's say you go here to um, settings and you go to your Python interpreter and you just try to pip install Pi Audio directly here. All right, and then you install package and you get that build error. Well, the reasons why is because Pi Audio is not made for Windows. So in my README, I say that um, um, before installing the speech recognition, you'll need to go to Pi Audio. So, so click this link right here. And it takes you to this pretty famous website where um, these bindings for Windows. Um, so I have um, an AMD, right? And so I have Windows 3.8. So this is how you read it. This is Windows 3.10, 3.9, 3.8. And so I used the um, Windows, yeah, I used this one here, 3838 Wind AMD 64. And so what you do is when you click on it, so I clicked on this one, it's going to go to your downloads folder. So there you go. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go to open. Oop, nope, nope, nope. So you're going to go to your downloads folder. Sorry about that. Uh, you're going to open in the uh, file location, which will take you to here. And um, so mine has a one, so that means I have this downloaded already somewhere. So, um, all right, so it's not going to find it easily. Um, I don't know why it's not uh, finding it. Let's go like this, wheel file. And it's still organizing it by date. But here is one right here, um, right there. So there's the original right there. And so that's what yours should look like, depending on which one you downloaded. So go ahead and go to rename and then copy and paste it. OK, or just copy it. All right. So what we did was we found our Pi Audio file and then we just copied it by pressing Control C. Now in this folder right here, Type in CMD, and this should be your downloads folder. And then now go to pip install, copy and paste the file, but don't forget to add WHL. And if this is the correct version that you downloaded, Pi Audio will install correctly. And once that's done, the speech recognition will download correctly. So do Pi Audio first, like I uh, mentioned here. 
if you have Windows, um, install the wheel file like I just showed you. And then you should be good to install speech recognition and the Python text to speech, whatever version it's currently on, using just normal pip install speech recognition. Um, so that's how you do that. So Pi Audio first. So if you just try to pip install the speech recognition, you should, or this requirements, you should get an error here. I, I did that on purpose. But the rest of these should download uh, and install correctly. So that's the first step. So so let's say we've installed Pi Audio correctly and speech recognition. The next is to do something simple, which I help somebody do, and make sure you have the right um, microphone set up because speech recognition will find your default microphone. So I'm going to right click on this little sound icon, open sound settings, and then right here, my input device is my headset microphone. But you could use your default microphone or I could be streaming or go for my webcam. So as you can see, it's reading the input, right? I don't have to test my microphone because as I'm talking, you see it moving. So scroll through what your device is and make sure you're using the right input device for your microphone because speech recognition uses your default speech recognition. And then the last step is, um, you, so this is the whole code, right? 400 lines, I think, of code, 336 lines of code. So what I've done here is I've extracted the minimum codes you need to just do the speech recognition. So you're going to import speech underscore recognition as SR. Then you're going to establish the recognizer equals SR dot capital recognizer microphone equals SR dot capital microphone and you're going to call those classes and then I created this simple function called listen and you're going to pass it the recognizer and microphone so while true um, we're going to try with the microphone that we've just passed and we called up here as source we're going to print listening and this is where a lot of people's code stops from the main file so we're going to recognizer dot adjust for ambient noise and you're going to pass it the source. Right. And so these two are optional. You don't need this. This is not the minimum code, but this works fine for my house, uh, my microphone and my laptop. Then we're going to do recognizer dot dynamic energy threshold equals 3000. This is just me um, randomly using variables. Um, 1000 is the standard documentation. I use 3000. Then the audio is going to equal the recognizer dot listen, this source right here, which is your microphone, timeout five seconds because I want it to keep listening every five seconds. Then the response equals recognizer dot recognize underscore Google, and you're passing it the audio that we just captured. And then we're going to print the response. That way we can see it. And then we're going to return the response um, and in our main code, we use the response as a command, right? So our digital assistant listens for this response and then does something with it. Um, timeout error means that it went to this Google and um, couldn't find anything. This unknown value error is if I say something silly, that's not a real word. This uh, request error is if I'm not connected to the internet. And then while true, we're just going to listen. Every five seconds is going to listen. So so let's check this out. Now, we don't have a wake word here, and that's going to be one of the last steps I recommend, but let, let's check this out. So right now, it's listening. There you go. It captured, so right now, it's listening. OK. Shane. All right, so this is the minimum code, right? So this is what it's doing. Now, in our main code, we created a uh, a wake word, right? This is the word it looks for to start the code. So in this case, the wake word equals Shane. And so all the way at the bottom of the code, we uh, said, 
um, we're going to listen for that code and um, if we hear Shane in our listen code we're gonna do something right we're gonna activate and analyze the command so my last step to you is using this minimal troubleshooting code try using your wake word and the reason why this is important because a lot of my viewers are from different countries than the US right the majority are from India so if your wake word is Shane because you just copy and pasted the github code try this minimum code to see if it recognizes Shane because maybe your accent is not picking up Shane so maybe it's picking up chain or something else completely different um, so maybe change your wake word to something in your native tongue that's easier to understand with your accent so unfortunately if none of those works I'm not sure you might have to just go to stack overflow so I hope this helps somebody. Please leave a comment if it helped you and let me know which one it helped you. And if my video did not help you but you still figured it out, please leave a comment on this video and let me know what actually did help. And thanks for watching. Goodbye world.